y'all and welcome back to my youtube channel to my subbies thank you very much for staying subscribed and if you're passing by i hope this content is good enough for you to subscribe if you're seeing me for the first time my name is miss lucas and i'm Libyan based in nairobi kenya and welcome to another weekly vlog in my life today is monday the 18th of march and that's when i'm starting this vlog i realized that both of the first videos that i uploaded were kind of short so I'm testing the waters to see how you guys are receptive of the longer versions. So today I'm starting off with Pilates, you know, Mondays and Pilates. I think Pilates just gives me a great way to start off the week. I'm more energized, relaxed, the body is not tense, the muscles are fine. That's why I like starting off with Pilates on a Monday. So I am just going to request my Uber going to Sunday Studios. The reason why my hair is never in a good state especially when i'm working out is because i'm doing weeks these weeks and my cornrows are also kind of like old that's why but i don't always look like this you'll see me guys next time but yeah oh my uber is almost here let's go i've arrived way too early like 30 minutes earlier than the usual class time which is good because I'll just get time to relax and meditate and just get ready for the class. Bushe picked me up and we were headed to the giraffe center. Anyways, meet Bushe, who was also the videographer during this excursion. The giraffe center is located in Langata, approximately 20 kilometers from Nairobi's CBD. Firstly, all visitors are required to wash their hands to remove any dead bacteria that may be present on their hands, reducing the risk of transmission of pathogens before feeding the giraffes. The daily rates are quite fair for both residents and non-residents of Kenya, as you can see. Payment options are via mobile money, which is Mpesa, and cards. Each visitor gets a bowl of pallets to feed the giraffe. Now, let's take a moment from Bush's outfit because she ate. 
founded with a mission to conserve and protect endangered giraffe species, the Giraffe Center stands as a beacon of hope for wildlife preservation. I finally managed to get a spot to feed this giraffe because the place was packed. Guys, the giraffe center is not where the faint had it. <laughs> it's like survival of the fittest. <laughs> it's so rough here, yeah, like many people. So you need to make sure that you're feeding the giraffe, otherwise you will get space. So we're done feeding the giraffes. It wasn't really a wow activity, but <laughs> yeah. So just across the giraffe center, there is this nature walk. Actually, just walking in the forest. If you've been to Karura Forest, literally the same. Only that here the path is a bit narrow because it's just for walking. So yeah, we're basically taking a nature walk. One thing I like about Nairobi, because it's green, even when you take this walk, at least you just refreshed a bit. We made a quick stop at Langata Botanical Gardens. We just wanted to have a quick view of how the place looks like. We thought we would have lunch here, but mm -mm. I think this place is more for conferences and if you're doing like picnic stuff, this is a place that you can consider. But if you're just coming to have lunch, I wouldn't really recommend, but yeah. Got soda, hunters of coke. <laughs> So we're getting lost in these botanical gardens just because we're trying to look for the waterfall. We can't just be following the trees, so we're following this narrow path. Let's hope we don't get lost. Hi. Huh? Okay. Poor. <laughs> one, and people usually it is a guide and they are telling you about the plants. Mm, I think it's the current one. Or maybe should we go to the current one? Because it, it looks like the current one is closer. So this botanical garden <laughs> disappointed us. Our expectations were here. <laughs> now, after seeing the place, so basically, if you're in Winduk, it's more like the parkies where they have like different stalls where you can have your event, and then they also have the, like the loan side. Yeah, it's mostly for conferences. So the actual plants and whatnot I don't really see them we didn't see them we only ended up at the lake so yeah we want to go to the current botanical gardens because TikTok Kenya came through so we're going to check out that one so this is going to be a long day then <laughs> expected a few moments later we found ourselves at the location rooftop in Kilimani, just opposite the Yaya Center. This place is spacious with good views. This was after looking for a location for some time. Anyways, we lived our best lives yet. For late lunch, Mbushe had lamb chops with jollof rice and I opted for a T-bone with jollof and it was wine o'clock. Yay! Happy Tuesday guys! For today, we have an activity to do with so you guys will see that later but I decided to do something about my hair last night I actually slept in deep treatment um, yeah so I'll be sorting out my hair before that activity this is the counter deep treatment mask that I used for my hair I'm going to wash it out 
and then roll my hair the only problem is it's so cloudy today <laughs> It's so cloudy today, so I hope the sun comes out at some point because I need my hair to dry as fast as it can once it's in rollers. But yeah, let me go wash my hair. like an ongoing commitment that I have that for every quarter of the year I'm teaching myself something it can be activity it can, it can be something that benefits me for quarter one I did Pilates this is also because I wanted to work on my core and I feel like it's a good thing but I want to continue with it and also add on some other activities now for quarter two I plan on doing swimming lessons just because yes at my big age i don't know how to swim and i feel like there's so many coastal towns here in kenya that i want to visit since visiting diani i realized i actually like water so i need to get an instructor to teach me how to swim there. for the ceramic activity that we're going to do today i'm a first timer it's the first time i'm going to touch clay I'm not sure how I feel, but I think it's a good thing because uh, it reminds me of when I painted my piece, right? You guys see that one? Yeah. It reminds me of when I painted it. That was my first painting. So I'm still... I liked the experience, although it was tiring. I liked the experience and yeah, I'm not sure if I'll do it again, but I am eager to do the potting activity and see how it goes so wish me luck guys I'm ready to bounce the only problem though is my zipper <laughs> these are the packs of living alone and you always can't reach this bag to close it but yeah I'll sort it out later see you guys there Yep, 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 yep. This is Imani Ceramics, a pottery gem. You can find them on Instagram. This place took me back to my Mekolo Zonjibololo. Our instructor James first explained the different types of pottery we could create and we got right into it.
Our first task was to remove air bubbles from the clay. This required us heating the clay. I was enjoying this process actually. Little did I know. <laughs> then James showed us how to use the wheel throwing machine. It looked easy and we were ready to start our pottery lesson. Trying out the wheel throwing machine for the first time was enjoyable at first. Let's just say I struggled a lot actually. My clay was all over the place, but James was quite patient with me and assisted me step by step. At this point, I was regretting even daring to do pottery because Mbusha seemed like a pro and so relaxed. <laughs> After so many struggles, I managed and was in the right track. This was a proud moment for me, an aha moment, and pottery really taught me some patience. This is my masterpiece, guys. I am so proud of myself. My fine piece of art. I'm super proud of myself. First pottery. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be back in a week's time to learn it and see how it goes. But yeah, would you try this? Let me know in the comment section. Done and dusted. On to the next. <laughs> we did it. We did it. I can see the stars align.